What's up, what's up everyone? This is Roma from The Logical Musician. Um, right now I want to go over um, skip cycling. As uh, a lot of you may know what your cycle is, I guess I'll go over it real quick in this video too. Now, if I turn my cycle on, I can turn it on by two ways. If it's already set to its locator, so where you want it to um, set your cycle to, all you would have to do to bring up your cycle is see and as a lot of you may know, you, what your cycle does is that it keeps cycling an area to where your locators are set to over and over again. So, so we'll keep on cycling in that area over and over again to your convenience. Um, now, skip cycle. Skip cycle is something that you'll be using in your mixing process. Skip cycle basically skips over a certain area in your range area that you set its locators to. Now, you may know that if you wanted to open a skip cycle, I mean your cycle, without pushing a key command, which is C, you can just simply drag left to right. Now, your skip cycle is a little different. To turn it on, of course you can push your cycle on and off, but when you're going to use your skip cycle, you drag from right to left and it opens. Now this is basic this is basically all it does it is it's going to skip over these bars as these region as these locators are set to skip what's ever in here. So it's gonna skip all this right here. And this is gonna be a tool that you'll be using for your for your final mixing processes, just to get your creative ideas flowing more. Maybe you don't like this region, you want to skip it to see how it might sound after your chorus. So you might take that region out, put it in the beginning, um, using your insert section, just like I showed you in the other video. But let's see what the skip cycle does right here. See, so it just basically skips what I commanded it to skip. Now, that's it on the, on the cycle and the skip cycle for this video. I'm about to make some more videos. You guys stay tuned. Peace.